Hey everybody, I'm Boris. I'm very happy that you're here with me on my YouTube channel. Lately I've been trying to show you how I work with my images. So today uh, I'm going to show you how I remove some of the unwanted stuff that I have on my um, uh, on my captures when I took my photo walk of the city of Sofia. I chose to edit the uh, Alexander Nevsky Cathedral image. Uh, I want, I'm going to remove some people from, from the image and I'm going to remove some artifacts that I don't like and I don't necessarily think that um, they should be there in my final exposure. So uh, I usually use a Wacom tablet which is right over here. This is the Wacom uh, Intuos 4. It's pretty old. It's maybe six, seven years old. And this guy here, uh, this is the pen that I use. I love my Wacom tablet, but today I'm going to be using only my mouse. You can see that I put the tablet right over there on my bag. Um, and yeah, I basically took those images, those two images that I'm going to show you right here on Lightroom. I took them handheld. You can see that there is a bit of a movement and you can see the specs. Uh, I'm shooting with my EOS R with the 15 to 35 RF 2.8. Here I'm at 17 millimeters. I'm shooting at 100 ISO at f2.8 and at 1 600, uh, 640 of a second. That's why I didn't think that I'm, I'm going to need the um, uh, tripod, which I usually bring with me. Anyway, I have a little bit of a movement, so I have to address first this movement so I can use both exposures so I can remove those lovely ladies that are right here in the middle of my shot. So what I'm going to do after I have um, done some basic uh, retouching in Lightroom, I'm going to right click on the images. I'm going to press edit in, uh, open as layers in Photoshop. This is going to give me the opportunity to have my uh, exposures in separate layers so I can auto align them. It's pretty easy. Uh, Photoshop is going to take some time to open those two exposures in uh, two separate layers. Uh, there it is, I'm almost ready. So I'm gonna select the two of them. I'm gonna go to Edit, Auto Line Layers. I'm gonna go to Projection Auto. I'm not gonna use any of the other um, checkboxes. I'm not gonna check any of the other checkboxes like Vignette Removal or Geometric Distortions because I've already uh, dealt with those issues. So I'm gonna press OK. And Photoshop, this is Photoshop 2020, the last edition as of today, 27th of June 2020. Uh, you can see that Photoshop has done a pretty good job auto aligning the two exposures. There is just a little bit of movement you can see between uh, the two of them. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with the result. I'm going to zoom in. And my first job is to remove those two ladies, as I already said. Uh, you can see I have them here. Uh, they were taking pictures for Instagram, I think. Um, so on my top layer, I will be creating a layer mask. I'm going to go to the layer mask. I'm going to choose a brush or the brush tool. And as uh, with, with a foreground color of black, I'm going to be just painting over those two ladies here, those girls. And there you go. I have gotten rid of I got rid, I have been, anyway, I got rid of <laughs> the unwanted people that I have on my image. Uh, let me see if I can remove some of the people from here. I don't think so. Uh, they're pretty much at the same spot. Yeah, I can remove this guy just like that. And he has been removed, erased. Uh, here I have some uh, some graduates, uh, but I don't think that they're moving that much, so there is no way that I can remove them like this with uh, this technique. If I have waited a little bit more, a couple more minutes, maybe they would have moved and I could have removed them this way. Anyway, now my main concern is actually uh, are actually those lamps that I, I don't like, those lamp posts. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. Uh, I'm going to press the command or control on your PC, command shift N to create a new layer, press enter. And I have, you can see magically created a new layer. 
And now I'm going to use a, a, the clone stamp tool. I press the S key and I'm going to start using my mouse. I was using my trackpad because it was uh, more silent and easier um, so far. So now I'm going to sample a place on my image, which I think that matches uh, the place where I want to remove uh, the lamppost. Here I can I can press the um, Alt key or Option key on your PC or something like that. Uh, and you can see how my, my um, clone stamp tool just uh, switched. And I have the target tool. I'm gonna try to target the pointy end of the arch here. And I'm gonna try to match perfectly uh, the two ends. And I'm gonna press I'm going to start painting and I'm going to be removing the lamppost. You can see that it's pretty easy. I'm doing this on a separate layer. As you can see, I can easily erase or um, remove something. Or if I think that something is out of alignment, I can just move it a little bit. Yeah, maybe this is better. I think, yeah, this is definitely better. So I will keep painting. Uh, now I'm going to sample another place on my image. I'm going to sample right over here. I'm going to press the S key again. I'm going to sample this place. And I'm going to try to align. Uh, you can see that I can, uh, I can see what I'm going to be painting with, uh, with my clone stamp tool. If you have any problems with that, you can just go to window. Um, yeah, I don't remember where I had to, oh, clone source. And you can go to clone source and you can see show overlay right over here. Uh, if it's not pressed, if it's not, uh, there is no tick in the tick box, in the checkbox, you can just press it and you're gonna see where and what you're painting with. So I've missed um, yeah, my target. Anyway, I'm gonna keep it from here. You can see that I have this, uh, let me see. You ha I have this, this uh, line here and this line here. I'm gonna align those two. I'm gonna press S again. I'm gonna option click and here I am. I'll align those two. And you can see how, how easy it is to get rid of stuff from your image. Now I'm gonna be aligning this part here of the column and this part here. Uh, and there you go. I will paint away this ridiculous pole. I don't like this, so I will uh, get rid of it. I'm just gonna sample a play from, a, from another place. And then you can see the windows. There are uh, some uh, really nice patterns in the windows. And I will just sample this place. I'm going to start painting from here down. There you go. Uh, I'm pretty rough. I don't care that much. Here, I can use those lines as a guide. So I'm going to go here. paint this part and now I'm gonna go here and paint away everything that I don't need um, this window I like and there you go you can see that I have some problems here I don't care that much because I'm on a new layer if I press the eraser or the E key I can easily erase things that I don't like uh, with my image and again I will clone stamp just a little bit more I will keep going until I remove the whole uh, lamp post here it is I will um, keep going keep going and keep trying to use the lines from the stonework as guides I have my brush pretty small, which is not a big deal. 
Here I have something that um, is repeating, is a repeating pattern that I don't like. I don't care that much for repeating patterns, uh, which are very close by because, oh yeah, and you can see, if I sample and I keep drawing, and I keep working, uh, I will have this problem where I will sample the layer from below, you can see, and I have my lamp post copy again, which is not a big deal. Again, I can press the erase, uh, erase E key and I can erase this part. So you can see that it's not very hard to get rid of uh, unwanted things from your images. Uh, just make sure that you align everything as perfectly as possible and you use the leading lines here you go um, I can use this part here getting rid of things where you have a lot of information like this pavement is pretty easy here I have to improvise uh, but I'm not above it and you can see that I I'm really really not scared of working with this constam tool and here is the pole before and after now I'll just go on and remove the rest of them uh, and I'm going to show you the final image I'm going to use the same technique I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to remove this one with the sign here uh, and I will remove this uh, thing that I don't like here and I will crop the image and I'm pretty much uh, I'm gonna be pretty much done with it all right so Let's dive in and let me keep working. can see that I have got rid of uh, most of the signs that I don't want and now I will do the same thing for the last one which is going to be a little bit more challenging because of all the patterns and the door but I will not be discouraged again I'm going to do a new layer create a new layer and start sampling and start guys who are on a shoot they were a little bit more prepared than I was so uh, I'm gonna take my crop tool I will not be changing the aspect ratio too much I'm sure that I can get away with getting rid of some of the car too uh, it's not going to be a big issue and the one place that is bleh, here I have some some transparency that you can see I'm gonna do the magic one tool and nope I'm gonna control D uh, command D select 
I'm gonna create a new layer via copy of all my layers. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna use my magic wand tool. I'm gonna go select, modify, expand, expand by four pixels, thanks to Scott Kelby. And I'm gonna press function shift and F5, which gives me the content aware tool, but this is a different content aware tool than uh, what, I, uh, what we used before to fill this part of the image here with the car. I'm gonna press okay. And hopefully I'll have some sky here. Yep, perfect job. Um, I'm gonna come here, this part, and try to fix this with the palm stand tool just a little bit. We're gonna do a quick job of removing stuff that I don't like. Yeah, like this guy here. And we are pretty much done. Okay, command zero. Uh, you can see where we have gone actually with this image. See how much unwanted things that uh, we have removed. Anyway, uh, now I can just go about my edit as I usually go. I will create a smart object out of this thing. Mark, uh, select everything, press the right button, click the right button of the mouse, create a smart object. It's gonna take some time to render my smart object. And then I'm gonna edit my image from there. Uh, and now I just want to thank you guys for sticking with me for this long, I don't know how long, let me see how long, 29 minutes tutorial. Um, thank you. And I'm gonna see you on the next one. Uh, maybe it's gonna be a vlog, maybe it's gonna be another tutorial, I don't know. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye-bye.